So a lot of times I get questions from people who have leggy fiddle leaf fig trees. And what this means is they're getting very tall, very long, and there's too much space between the leaves or between the branches. This is a phenomenon called etiolation. And what it means is basically that there's too long of internodal space or the space between the nodes of your plant. The reason it happens is because in the wild, your plant is trying to grow as tall as it can, as fast as it can to reach the sunlight and to compete for sunlight. But indoors, it can give the look of a plant that just doesn't look very healthy, it doesn't look very good, it looks kind of tall and spindly. What can happen is it grows too tall, too fast, and it gets top heavy. And so a lot of times you'll want to try to fix your leggy plant by having it be a little bit more compact, a little bit more bushy, and have a better shape. Step one to fixing a leggy fiddle leaf fig is to provide it more light. The reason that your plant is leggy is likely because it is not getting enough sunlight. And so you want to put it in the sunniest place in your house so that it's getting enough light. You know, some other techniques to make sure it's getting enough light, you could use a grow light. Also make sure the leaves of your plant are clean because if your leaves are dusty, it can't absorb enough of sunlight. The next thing you're going to want to do is to give your plant some more fertilizer. And so a lot of times plants get leggy because they're trying to grow, but they don't have the nutrients they need. They're basically starving. So fertilizing your plant on a regular basis is really important. We make fiddle leaf fig plant food where you can actually use one teaspoon every single week on your plant so that your plant's getting that slow, steady burst of fertilizer instead of, you know, once every six weeks or every eight weeks. And that way, you know, it always has the nutrients that it needs to grow strong. The third step is to potentially repot your plant. And so if you have a plant that looks kind of unhappy, is leggy, is not doing very well, it could be that it's used up all of the space and the nutrients in its pot. So repotting in a large pot with more fresh soil to give it more nutrients and more space for the root ball to expand, that will give your plant the nutrients that it needs to put out more leaves. Instead of just getting taller, it'll get bushier. So once you've kind of corrected all of these underlying issues, then you're going to want to think about how to fix your fiddle leaf fig that's too leggy. And so one of the techniques you can use is you can prune your plant. And so basically cutting your plant back can cause it to branch and it can also cause it to just grow more leaves in the existing area that you don't cut back. The next technique that I would recommend using is notching. And so you can actually notch your plant to get it to grow new branches without removing any of the leaves. You could just create these notches or cuts within your plant to grow new branches within the existing plant. So you're not losing the height. You're not cutting off leaves in case, you know, maybe you don't have enough leaves and you don't want to cut off leaves. You could try the technique of notching to get more leaves, more branches within the existing structure of your plant. I guess my bonus tip would be if you have a spindly, leggy, fiddly fig, one of my favorite ways to correct it is to combine them. So you could take two or per preferably three leggy fiddle leaf figs, put them together, kind of support them with a stake, and they can grow into one plant where it looks bushier, it gives more of a tree-like look, and your plants are actually more apt to do better if they're combined. Their root systems will grow together. They create kind of the, you know, more relative humidity. They just do better together. Fiddle leaf figs like being grouped together. So give that a try. If you have a bunch of leggy plants, you can put them all together in one pot, and then you have one great looking bushier plant. I hope this video is helpful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye.